What up? What's up, man? How are you? Michael, good to see you. Good to see you. Look at this fella. What's up, man? What's up, dude? Are you good? I'm stepping out the side. I'm good. Meet your driver. What's up, little man? How you doing? I didn't know you were this small. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think he's small. <laughs> I got to say, it, it's pretty for surreal for me to be sitting right here with you three right before the Daytona 500, right before the kickoff of the 2021 NASCAR season. So how is it for you guys? Uh, I've been texting these clowns. You know, I, I'm excited. I'm nervous, even though I'm not getting in the car. But I think the thing is that, I mean, obviously, you and I, we're going to get ready to play a big game. We're going to be nervous, but we're in control. But at the end of the day, they're ultimately in control because they're the ones signing them checks. <laughs> <it's good cars. laughs> and the thing is, we don't sign checks to losers. So yeah, we're <laughs> that someone says NASCAR, the one name of you three that people won't associate with NASCAR would be you. I know. But people don't realize you've been a big NASCAR fan for a I long grew time. Up, I grew up in NASCAR. My father used to pack the whole family in. We go to Darlington, we go to Rockingham, we go to Charlotte, we came down to Daytona, Talladega, and we would just go and we spend the whole day. And, and from that point on, I've been hooked on NASCAR. So for you, will you be at most races? If I'm not there physically, you can believe I'm there mentally. And that's my job too, is to be the feet on the ground. But how long have you had the idea of being an owner, co-owner of a cup team? I've, I've thought about it so many different times uh, because I've never seen, you know, a black owner or, you know, someone of color that really owned their team or, you know, could dictate what happens with their team. You know, obviously we haven't really been dominant in this sport, but that, you know, the, the opportunities have never been presented to you. Yeah. I mean, I watch Talladega Nights, Day of the Thunder, <laughs> got a good feel for the sport myself. <laughs> ah, stop. <laughs> All right, Bubba. New race team. You're the driver. Who calls you? Who texts you? What happens? Probably got 60 to 75 text messages after we announced that night. And I got about 10 unknown numbers. And then I get one and I'm like reading the message. And then at the bottom it says MJ. And I said, let me read that again. Read the message. MJ. Oh, oh awesome. Michael Jordan just texted me. This is cool. And I got to say, last year, NASCAR flipped the script uh, against some of the stereotypes that, that are usually associated with the sport, especially when it came to social justice issues. I thought it was a start, for sure. Um, for years, I've been asked, how do we get more minorities in the sport? I'm like, you know, that's a good question. It's at the top of NASCAR's lists. And then Confederate flag rolled around. It's like, there is so much backlash about this flag from the minority group that we are trying to attract. They're not going to be a part of this until it's gone said, let's make a stance, let's put our foot down right now. You know, we're opening the door for a whole new family to come in and enjoy our sport. And, and one of the most iconic moments from last year is when the whole garage followed you out. What was that moment like for you? And when I got out and I started seeing more faces behind the drivers, I'm like, that's more than 40 drivers. That's when you see me stand up and look back and I immediately drop down to the car because it's the entire garage. Was, was rallying behind and, and it makes you feel good that as, as much as we have run-ins or go at it with each other, no matter what, we always have each other's back. We're all family. Give you chills to think about it. And um, I wonder if it gives you guys chills to think about the new season that's about to kick off. Green flag away. What are each of your expectations for the team this season? I know. Go ahead, Denny, take it away. Uh, our team needs to get better. I mean, I just want to see uh, from the start of this season to the end of the season that the arrow is going in the right direction. How nervous are you to watch? I'm nervous. Uh, I know I'm going to be nervous. And I got two two winners, though. More nervous, than, I get, I more got nervous two than when you were on a court? Uh, no. Not that nervous. I, but, but it's a different type of nervous. Nervous when I'm on the court, I, I'm, once again, I can go rebound. I can go shoot. I can play defense. Here, all I can do is cheer. I feel like he's going to learn how to win. He's got the talent. We would not have invested in him and picked him if he didn't have the talent to win. By the end of the year, I think he's going to have an opportunity and probably will win at least a couple of races. 
If it's more, I'll be elated. You jump off my couch when you get your first one. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. And I know 2018 was your best finish here at Daytona. You came in second. Um, you beat somebody else, the third place guy, by .002 seconds. Yeah. Happened to be this guy right here. <laughs> so how about this year? But this is for the win. How is it going to play out there? I want to do something no one else has done. No one has ever won three in a row at this racetrack in the 500. I hope he's not in front of me on the last lap. It, it might get physical. <laughs> <laughs> okay, either one. Either one. Either one. I'm happy. Either one. For more great NASCAR on Fox content, subscribe to our channel. It's somewhere right around here.